At the Northwest University, we share our research findings and innovative ideas with society in general. We make it our business to engage with our communities, to learn from and be taught by them. In fact, the Northwest University's core business activities can only be regarded as significant and sustainable if we succeed in actively engaging with our communities of interest. The Africa Unit for Transdisciplinary Health Research um, engages in community research, community engagement, uh, teaching and learning forums, volunteerism, all within the community engagement platform. We've been running for many years now and we've changed a bit our focus now and again, but our main of our biggest focus nowadays is on community upliftment, development and sustainability of that. Author has projects within the Northern Cape and Northwest Province. We work with other faculties, um, we've got, we coordinate the faculty project called the WIN project and um, on various basics all towards health. The WIN project, the Faculty of Health Sciences Community Engagement Project, entails six faculties at the Northwest University that is involved um, from different disciplines, all working on different levels within communities, all towards health even though they might have, for example, urban and regional uh, planning background. Most of the, our circumstances, the community comes to us and says we need help in X, Y, and Z. One of the original projects that actually came out of the WIN project was the Sustainable Diets project that we work with local farmers, local food systems. I'm doing research within the WIN project and my research is about sustainable diets and food systems. So we are actually trying to link nutrition with food systems, with environmental issues, with economic issues, governance that's related to agriculture, nutrition, as well as the socio-cultural environment that actually shapes nutrition. The idea is to get an overview along the food system, which includes, um, in short, kind of from farm to plate. So what, what is produced and what at the end ends at the consumer's plate. The time when we were doing Come and Dine With Me project, it's where now we were building a relationship between the old people and the youth. And they did realize that during the old times days, the old people, they were preparing food different than the youth, the way they are preparing food now. So we are going to be able to get the food fresh. We are going to be able to get the food fresh. We are going to be able to get the food fresh. We are going to be able to get the food fresh. We are going to the research was important to the community, so it was nice for me to work as a field worker because I know the community, I'm always working with them. So this time it was nice where I was working with Northwest University. So we are work working very close together with policy makers trying to give policy recommendations how rural areas like Falhats um, can can be supported in their development and make it more sustainable. A lot of what we do is based on research, community research. Out of that we would like to see interventions, facilitation, education. We train our students. Onze citrus boeren, ons is 20 jaar al in, in Valarts en ons werkers is die community van Gaanspan. Ons het nie besef dat uh, Die producten niet uitkomen bij die mensen in Gaanspan. Nie. Ons het nooit aan gedink nie. En nadat die student hier was, het ons eerst besef dat ons kan die gemeenschap help. Want hulle het nie allemaal vervoer nie en so, so. Ons is eigenlijk het ons bevoordeel en het het hulle bevoordeel. After a lot of negotiation and also needs assessments, um, we realized that there was a need for a mobile clinic because of the vast majority of farms around this area and the need for service, health services, that they not only can um, relocate or accessible for these community members. And um, we found a funder, Mzinzi Healthcare Combatech, and they uh, funded a mobile clinic that is at this moment facilitating and servicing within these communities. My name is Lisbeth Barrett and it all starts here.